Alright, hey guys, what's up? It's Donut here, and today I'm going to be doing my top 5 most anticipated games of 2014-15. None of the footage in here is mine, uh, so no copyright intended at all, <coughs> Lucasfilm. But, uh, so anyways, um, so, uh, let's get into the gameplay, commentary, whatever you want to call it. I'll see you there. So, number five on this list will be Shadow of Mordor, and, uh, I'm a Lord of the Rings Hobbit fan, so, and this is going to be one of the few Hobbit games that I, or Lord of the Rings and Hobbit games that I've played. I do have Lego the Hobbit, and that is quite a fun game, and, uh, so this game, uh, is going to be pretty good, it's, uh, RPG role-playing. Uh, some people say that it's, like, a rip-off of Assassin's Creed, and I can see why they're saying that. But, uh, in some ways it's a bit better, in some ways it's a bit worse than Assassin's Creed. I do like the new, uh, like, Wraith abilities, I guess. I think that's what they're called, and, you know, you can, like, manipulate the enemy into doing what you want them to. You, and, uh, just a lot of cool stuff that Assassin's Creed does not have. Uh, and of course, uh, you will be, uh, fighting Sauron and his orc armies. So, uh, that's another cool thing. So, uh, let's move on to the fourth. Alright, the fourth game on this list will be Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Now, generally, I don't really uh, like much Call of Duty games. I tend to be very bad at them, and I die very quickly. But this game seems that it kind of hooked my attention to the guns and um, the exosuit abilities, you know, being invisible, uh, sliding and stuff around the map makes it much quicker to actually get around the map. Uh, some of the kill streaks look pretty good. Uh, uh, like I said in my previous Call of Duty Advanced Warfare video, it is kind of a ripoff of, you know, Titanfall, Halo, and some of the sites look like the ones from Homefront, which is a great game. Unfortunately, the servers are shut down for it, so that's bad, but so, uh, yeah, let's move on to the number three. Alright, number three is Halo, the Master Chief Collection. Uh, if you haven't known, I am a big Halo fan, I've played all of the games, I have all of them actually, right next to me in my little game desk thingy, and being able to play them all with, you know, HD graphics with friends, uh, multiplayer, it's gonna be really cool, and also the Halo 5 Guardians beta will be in it. I'm not sure if the full game will, the full Halo 5 Guardians will be in it, but uh, either way, it's going to be a great game. Uh, what is it, like a couple, um, like maybe six games? Uh, no, it's, yeah, five games all jam-packed into one little disc thing. And it's going to be cool being able to play with your friends. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, uh <laughs> Alright, let's move on to, or what is it now, uh, two, spot two of the series. Number two for the top five anticipated games of the next couple of years. Uh, what is Verdun? It is a World War One kind of massive multiplayer online game. 
I'm not sure if it will be like a full like MMO, like a World of Warcraft, or if it's just gonna be kind of like these little like matches, you know, like Call of Duty has, you know, like the lobbies and stuff, but it's gonna look cool, and uh, I like how it is actually uh, a kind of like a historic game, because most games right now are kind of the futuristic, you know, advanced warfare, Halo, uh, and actually the number one spot, but, uh, so this game will be kind of a blast from the past, and uh, I think it's gonna be a great game, and uh, I can't wait for it. Alright, so the number one on my list is Star Wars Battlefront 3. Now, unfortunately, I'm uh, my last video that I uploaded, it had footage of it and it got removed for copyright by Lucasfilm. So I decided that I'm not going to show any of the footage because it said uh, video or visual footage, I think, was the main reason. So I'm going to just do it as one of my background videos. So this game uh, looks pretty good. Uh, you know, the jets, or, uh, not jets, but fighters, and, you know, there's gonna be big battles. And if you lose the battle, you know, you can lose the entire planet. And that is what I like about, uh, these games, the Battlefront games. And it's gonna be cool, you know, I'm gonna ha have a lot of fun, you know, uh, just rolling up with my clone, and then, you know, like, a clone army behind me, just trying to destroy, like, a whole bunch of droids. And, uh, so, overall... This game is really good. Uh, thanks guys for watching this video. And uh, so if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe. If you like my channel, uh, just uh, take a look at some of my uh, older and newer videos. So thanks guys for watching and I'll see you next time.